Hello, and welcome to my tutorial about bitmap data. Now, normally in Flash, you'd use movie clips and program them to do things. But with bitmap data, it's literally like a canvas, and you're drawing on a canvas. And I just wanted to share with you how you might want to utilize this technology and make a better program or more powerful game or something. So I'm starting off in a Action Script 3 document. So the first thing I want to tell my new program is the screen height and the screen width, just to make the code a lot more clean. So I'm going to start with screen width. And that's an integer, so. And in order to get this um, the width of the screen, you can do stage dot stage width, and that will get the width of the stage. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the height. So nothing special there, just getting how big it is. The second thing is I want to actually make the canvas in which I want to draw on. So let's make another variable. Let's make this the screen data. And what this is is a bitmap data. And bitmap data holds all the data that is being drawn on your canvas, the colors and the pixels. So new bitmap data. And this is where we enter the width of the screen and the width and the height of the screen. So we just did that. Screen width and screen height. Now transparency is whether you can see through it or it has to be opaque. So I'm just going to say false for now. So it is not see through. And the fill color, the fill color is what you see on the screen initially. So what color is it? So with flash I'm going to do 0x and let's make it white so FF FF FF. <laughs> so there's the screen data. And now let's make the actual screen. The screen is the bitmap that holds the data. So I'm just gonna do screen just to uh, follow what I've already done. And it is a bitmap without the data. Now, and as you can see, it's importing in the bitmap data and bitmap as we type. So that's good. And right here, we write new bitmap and then type our screen data. So, not hard at all. And that's all I'm going to do. The rest is. Um, over here, it's pixel snapping and smoothing, which seem to be okay for now. And this does not work until we actually put the screen into our program or game. And that's simple. You add the child screen. And so, we may run it, <laughs> but it doesn't look like anything. Well, that's obviously because it's blank. So, if we change this value, we can change the color of the screen. So this is red, so it will be red. So yes, it is working, and that's great. Now I am going to actually put a texture onto the screen, because what would this be without actual pictures? So I have a little picture here. It's a smiley face and a lemon. <laughs> I want to put this picture into my program. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this into the library so my computer, or my program, knows that I want to use it. And then I'm going to open it in properties. Here's the properties. Um, you do want it lossless, which means um, that there is literally no data lost. Then go to the Action Script tab, export for Action Script, and export in frame one. This way we can use it in our code. And for the class, name it something you'll remember, like uh, Lemon. 
because lemons are awesome. Hit OK, and now we can use it in our code. So, in order to actually use it in our code, we should make a reference to it. So let's do var lemon, and this is another bitmap data, equals new lemon. And this is where I got that. The action script linkage is what I put here. Actually, I don't think it matters if I put that or not, so yeah. So there we have that. Now, if we want to draw onto the screen, we can use screen data dot either draw or copy pixels. For now, I'm just going to use copy pixels because it is faster. So copy pixels, we're going to use the source bitmap data lemon so we can draw it. And then we use a source rectangle, which is the rectangle in which we're selecting to put on the screen. So it might be a little confusing, but I'll explain it right here. So we're starting on 0, 0. So we're starting right here where my mouse is. And then we want to go 50 pixels long and 25 down. So that would be 50 and 25. And then our destination point is where we want to put it on our screen. So that is a point, new point. And let's just put it at 0, 0 for now. And lastly, there's all this stuff right here, but I won't get into that. Just make it simple. So if I run that, I'll see a lemon and a smiley face, but more importantly, a lemon. And we can actually do a lot of stuff with just this little piece of code. We can move it over 20 and down 20 with that. That's the destination point. And then there's this. We can actually change this to instead of taking all 50 pixels long, we can take 25 of them. So I change that to 25, and it's only going to take the smiley face. So that's pretty simple. You can actually do the lemon too by offsetting it by 25. And now we have the lemon. You just gotta love lemons. Now there's a lot of fun to be had with bitmap data. You can do a lot of cool things, and I won't get into them all, but if you have any questions, consult the internet. Or, of course, comment on this video. So thanks for watching, and I hope you learned a little bit about bitmap data. Bye!